the character, the demeanor um, of the deputy president, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, is not fit to hold yeah. that high office. Okay. So, and there are 11 counts. Yeah. Okay. Well, and we'll, according to us, we'll members to the of count. the National Assembly... We'll, we'll come to the count. So, so in, to just get it clear, I'll come to the communication aspect. So you needed the ODM party and Raila Odinga to politically punish Rigadi Gashagwa. No, no, no. We're not, we don't, we did, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there is convergence of mind that indeed uh, the beach deputy president um, has violated uh, a number of laws, have violated articles of the constitution, um, and uh, both members of the National Assembly in the minority and majority, as well as the senators in the majority and minority, uh, are in agreement. And that's why uh, it was imaged. Yeah, on, on miscommunication, you said uh, partly the, one of the reasons to blame, um, to blame, to, to lay the blame is uh, uh, the at the doorstep of the impeached JP Rigadi Gashagwa. What, did, what then do you make? How do you then place and qualify the statement by the head of state on the, the 2nd of August when he said some of his cabinet members are incompetent, they don't know what's going on in their docket, they don't pick up his calls, he at, time, he at times has to call the PSS to understand what's going on in the ministry because the CSS are not picking calls. And he told them at State House that you are incompetent and it's unfortunate. So. How then do you qualify that? How do you square that out, given that it's he, the president, who is the appointing authority and gave those in incompetent folks the jobs? And, and, and that's why he came out and uh, fired a half of the cabinet. A half of the cabinet was sent home um, uh, because of some of these uh, um, incompetence or some of lack of, you are not keen to, uh, to details on what you're supposed to do as a cabinet secretary, I uh, should expect more will be uh, coming, uh, will be going home as far as uh, uh, permanent secretaries are concerned, uh, because still we have a gap in, in terms of um, being very committed within your state department, within your ministry, and having um, the, the, the grip of day-to-day -day happening of your state department, of your ministry. Uh, it is important, especially when you are talking about the Minister of Education, uh, you know uh, how we have struggled with the Minister of Education. It has been uh, a problem. Uh, as far as implementation of the new curriculum, CBC, mm -hmm. uh, JSS, Junior Secondary uh, Schools, uh, the funding uh, model of the uh, universities. You know, it, it has been a big, uh, major uh, issues as far as Ministry of Education is concerned. So whoever is responsible within that ministry, whether it's the principal secretaries and ministers yeah. and managers, they need to do what is right and they need to be seen, you know, putting all their best uh, as far as the ministry is concerned. We have a major problem in the Ministry of Health. At the moment, implementation, shifting from uh, NHIF to SHIF, the, 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 the systems are not properly synchronized. Who should be able to do that? Who, 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 who needs, why should someone go for dialysis and turn that you can't um, get dialysis uh, because you can't, cannot reflect in the, in the system? Right. So these are things which the ministers and the state department yeah. responsible mm -hmm. have to seriously, yeah. you know, be seen to be doing work. Okay. And when you are given a job to do by the end of state, please, it's not the end of the state to come and ensure uh, the, the synchronization of the systems are, are, are working. It is you, the manager in that department. And, and it is you, the PS. Yeah, okay. So, uh, and when the, the head of state uh, um, take actions, yes. Then they should know anybody uh, should not start uh, making noise. And, and there is also the uh, profound sense of duty on your end as a parliamentarian, and also on the end of the head of state. Oh yes, competent people. That's for sure for the job. But That's for sure. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the committee. I'll, I'll come to Parliament's role because you have talked about a very important point, which is the social health authority. M Madam President, given the length of these cases, which are before the courts of law, uh, what do you think the effect could be on the political establishment and largely the politics of the country? This is Legrand from Simple Generations.